Welcome, ladies, most of the time, Dom Yeti video, where today I will be reviewing Doctor Who Legend of the Sea Devils. So, um, we had the Eve of the Daleks special uh, at the start of this year, um, and now for Easter, we have the Legend of the Sea Devils episode. Great to see Doctor Who back on the screen. It's been uh, a long wait, but we're still, it's still not a series, we've still got like at least a year for another series to wait, but we've got the centenary special to look forward to afterwards as well um now uh, it's very good to see the sea devils back i watched the episode with john perry recently the sea devils the first episode with them in um so it's great to see these classic monsters come back um and kind of referring to kind of the the fact that they they were on earth from the very beginning like the solarians were and i think they're somehow related um the land parasite line was very funny sea devil land parasites um it's very very clever joke um but yeah they could have i think they could have been done with them in it more they didn't seem like they were in it that much they didn't seem much of a threat to be honest um the plot was just a great sci-fi plot no kind of hidden messages it doesn't need to be it was just a great fun adventure which i thoroughly enjoyed it was just everything you would want from a, a crazy Silly Doctor Who adventure. It was excellent. It had everything you need. Um, so, uh, yeah, it did seem slightly rushed in 47 minutes. It could have done with maybe 10 minutes longer, maybe, uh, to flesh things out, um, kind of uh, kind of have more of a kind of plan and a build up to it. But it was kind of, it was all just like, oh, it's all happening now. We need to sort it out. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, it was pretty good. Um, John Bishop as Dan was hilarious uh, once again. Um, and then the scene at the end as well uh, was excellent, um, where it was kind of wrapping up kind of relations with Dan with Di, um, which, which was really weird that she just, like she just dumped him because he was too busy saving the world to go on a date with her, which is, I just, that just seems so weird to me. I don't know why she did that, but it seemed like that um, all is forgiven and it looks like he'll be able to get by with her soon, which is very exciting. And then we also had a scene with the Doctor on, and Yaz. They finally had the scene on the beach, which we've all been waiting for, uh, which was excellent. Really well-written scene, um, really great. And then kind of calling back to the idea of kind of seeing all these companions come and go and kind of not being able to make a commitment and not wanting to make a commitment. Um, so... Yeah, it was good, and kind of went the very end when the doctor threw the stone and made a wish for everything to stay like this forever. That was such a, a heartfelt line. That was so, it was such a nice moment. Um, so yeah, it was great. We had a nice fun plot, and then we had a nice kind of ending scene, um, leading into the centenary special. So overall, I think I would rate this episode a solid seven out of ten. A very enjoyable episode. Um, I liked it very much. Uh, there are some ways it could have improved, which I have touched upon. But it was uh, an excellent, fun special with loads of uh, things to enjoy uh, out of it. Um, so uh, straight after the episode, we had uh, this um, trailer for the teaser for the centenary special, which they are airing later this year. Still no exact release date yet, but we know it's coming out to celebrate 100 years of the BBC. So it's quite a momentous occasion. So um, let's see what we've got here. No regeneration, no life. Wait, I, oh, it didn't start from the very beginning. Wait, I apologize. Nothing is forever. Yeah, and then it's really sad because she seemed that thing where she wished everything could last forever. But we know that this next episode is the final one of the era. We know that things are moving on after that. So it, this, it's only going to end. This is definitely going to be a really sad episode. Uh, no matter what, the ending is definitely going to be sad, whatever the ending is. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of an, a good message to say the kind of nothing lasts forever. You've got to move on because the show really is about change and moving on. So it's great to see that this is being uh, pushed upon uh, towards the end of Thirteen's era. No regeneration, no life. Beware of the forces. Is she talking to the master? Is she talking about herself when she's saying the regeneration? Maybe she's got rid of the master's regeneration or he's had all 12, maybe. Or um, 
oh, it's doctored somehow. The master's done something to the doctor where she can't regenerate. So we have the Daleks and the Cybermen teaming up. So it looks like we've got this is the lone Cyberman. He's back. We thought he was condensed down to a tiny thing. Maybe the master brought him back to life. I'm so glad to see he was back because he was such an interesting character and he was just destroyed by the master way too quickly. Um, so I'm glad to see that he's brought back. The master against you. I'm that master. And the master is such a great incarnation of the master. He's got to be my favorite master. I think each master has improved throughout the modern era. So we have John Sim, then we had Michelle Gomez, now we have Sasha Dewan. I think each one just tops the last, but they're all they're all absolutely excellent. This is the day you die. Now it kind of looks like she's in like a museum, like you know, in the day of the doctor with all the kind of Gallifrey Falls paintings and things. These kind of look like paintings of Gallifrey. I mean, that might not might not be what they are entirely, but it kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like they're paintings of Gallifrey, and if so, that's really interesting. Yes, I haven't heard from the doctor for nearly. Imagine if she's, she goes to. You die. Imagine if she goes to the same museum in Day of the Doctor and she meets the creator again, Tom Baker. That would be so cool. Ace, I haven't heard from the Doctor for nearly. And it's Tegan. Oh my goodness, Tegan is back. Um, this is crazy. Tegan is so great when you see companions come back. You know, when we had Sarah Jenkins back with David Tennant, and now we have Tegan coming back. It's so great to see. Um. After all these years, you know, to see what they're up to and then to see kind of them come back into the life of the doctor. Very exciting stuff. Four decades. Just because it's only. And it's Ace as well. Oh my goodness. Ace is one of my favorite companions. So it's so cool to see that uh, she's coming back to our screens um, later this year. I cannot wait. Uh, this has got me so excited now uh, for this centenary special. Three decades for me. Oh my goodness. For nearly four decades. Just because it's only three decades for me. Look at that, that's crazy. They're shooting something. Goodness. Are they a unit as well? There's Kate Stewart. Hopefully she doesn't get converted. Dan in the classic um, spacesuit that we need to see every era. Um, Vinda is back. I'm glad he's back because it was kind of random that he was just there in the series. We're going to delve more into his character, which is great. Yeah, so we've done. In the TARDIS, interesting. I don't know what what that will involve. You know, is the master in the TARDIS? Who knows? I saw a theory that maybe that thing where her being brainwashed is going to happen and she's going to try and shoot the doctor. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's going to be crazy. Three decades for me. And then this is Ace, I think, with a baseball bat defeating the Dalek once again. It would be such great reference and now kind of we've got like a buff master kind of crazy long dark hair long mustache kind of akin to kind of the previous masters in the classic era um i don't know what's happening to him though maybe some kind of weird age things happening to him because he didn't have a beard in what stage and now he has loads of hair and a beard i don't know what's happening but it's very interesting the end of your existence the end of your existence and then it looks like she's regenerating that's just crazy. I, I, it's crazy if she will actually regenerate in this scene, not in the TARDIS, and she just, she can't control it. That would be insane. And then she says, yes. And then there we go. That is the trailer for um, the Centenary Special. I cannot wait. Um, I will definitely be posting a review as soon as that comes out um, to keep an eye out for that later in the year. Um, but thank you for watching this review, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, because if you didn't, then you've just wasted about 10 minutes of your life. Thank you for watching, everybody. Goodbye.